see if we own. And if we is, you know, as usual, see if brothers can uh, hear us on up. If you brothers can hear us, just uh, write it, and we're going to get started. It's good, y'all, watch me out shot. No, brothers, just not on the comment board. Can you brothers hear us? Shalom, brothers. Can y'all hear us? Hey, Shalom, Makim, you know, so us brothers, uh, GMS Chicago, come with another uh, live impromptu show. You know, first and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity and with charity. You know, so we were just sitting here, you know, meditating, you know, uh, talking shit amongst ourselves, you know, and then, um, you know, as always, as you brothers know, brothers get around and we just start talking shit and speaking, man. It's something holy or, or, or spiritual always come out of it, right? So, you know, we were just sitting here talking about, you know, uh, uh, doing this work, man. You know? I got a picture of believers that sit on top of that. Actually, what you said. Go ahead, brother. Uh, let, me, let me pull it up. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. This is uh, Colossians 4 and 6. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. That's right. You know, so even amongst each other, it says, let your speech be seasoned with salt. And even if we're uh, just around having uh, a normal time, you know. Speaking about normal, regular, common things, it always relates back to spiritual, man. That's what we we, we we to walk in. It says to walk in the spirit, correct? So even if we're looking at something cardinal, you know, spiritual things are gonna be brought up. And hey, and then the spirit is dealing. Sit down, man. How bother we in the spirit? Do the work. Okay. That's what that's what commanded to do. That's right. Okay. That's right. You brothers, uh, uh, because th the thing is, man, um, can you get that scripture out? Can you get the, uh, what we was talking about with the King David as, as soon as, um, the Psalm 51? Okay. You read that Bible for sure? Because, uh, in, in turn, man, once we, once we get this understanding, once we come into this truth, once we get ourselves straight, we go out and, and, and teach others to do so also, man. You know, as, uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, can his brother grab that? Ezekiel the third chapter. You can start at um seventeen. Uh, Ezekiel three and seventeen. Son of man, I I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. So it goes back to Habakkuk second chapter. Man, I was standing here upon my watch. You know, when you're on your watch, yeah, yeah you continually um, on the job, man. You you keeping that lookout for anything, you know, for dangers that's coming. And in our sense, man, we the watchman set up because we we know and understand these prophecies that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has opened our minds to receive. So in turn, we warn the people. This is First uh, Timothy chapter four and sixteen. 
take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine and continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee that's right you if you want to smile on bro yeah you know and uh it go, that and that reminds me of the scripture where it says that him that watereth uh watereth himself that's right you know what i mean that's right you know so so go out here to warn them and and, and you cover cover uh, uh uh sins you know somebody grab that too he that converted the sinner covereth his own sins is james the last chapter i believe and that one right there says you can save uh, uh yourself and them that hear thee go ahead in that ezekiel brother verse 18 though because it says, and give them warning from me, from who? From Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Verse 18. When I say unto, unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not, not warning. No speaking to warn the wicked from the wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Right. So his blood will be required at your hands, man. You're going to be responsible for, for, uh, for, for, that, for that person's death. Because you didn't warn him. Also, uh, you know, like the brother right here, y'all like to say, uh, the truth with sincerity with charity. Okay? Because this is actual charity too, as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a charitable, this is the most charitable act. This is actually the only charitable act that the Lord told us to do. He said, feed, feed my sheep, right? Okay, uh, this is first feed is four and eight. Above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Okay? That's right. So that's why we end this you note know, to get out. You know, we're here for salvation, redemption. You know what I mean? Oh. It says fervent charity. Man. So we got hey, to be fervent in the spirit. Now, like the scripture also says, man, you're doing this work, man. Our job is to, to build each other up, man. So labor, man. Do the work, man. Do uh -huh. these videos, do the sit downs, hit the streets. I heard brothers available, man. Brothers should hit the streets more than what? Well, not necessarily should, but could. The streets more than most of them. Just doing the work, man. Dealing with brothers, build each other up. Then, like the prophets were back, and when you read Sam, dude. The prophets was always together when we read books <laughs> like that. They said it, it's all amongst the prophets. Right. They were together. So they, they knew who the prophets was, the group of them, right? Yeah. Right? It said they make make our work manifest to the, the world, man. People seeing us doing this work no matter what. You got to know, man. When brothers go to places, when brothers doing shit with together, you know, it's going to be CT1 to be the prophets. The conversations break out all the time, man. Hey, remember me? You went to that Walmart and the one guy. Yeah, yeah, right. yep. Uh, Revelation uh, three and nineteen. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Right, be zealous. Okay, just like the prophets are old, man. That's why the scriptures say, man. You know, we uh, the the things written four times written for our learning, man. These are superheroes, okay? These, these, these are the, you know what I'm saying? You know, now these little kids, they got their little, but you know what I'm saying? These is the people that, these are the men that we looking up to, okay? Uh, and they were zealous, so we should be zealous too, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you said at one point you said Paul disputed within the temple daily. That meant every day, that was what he doing. Every day he went to the public, and it's the temple was disputed, man. Mm -hmm. I, I got a precept. This is first Maccabees 2. And um because the brother had mentioned be zealous, right? And the spirit brought this um this account into my head. This first Maccabees 2. I'm gonna start at 19. Then Matthias answered and spake with a loud voice. Though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him and fall away every one from the religion of their fathers and give consent to his commandments yet will i and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers 
the Most High forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances. We will not hearken to the king's words to go from our religion, either on the right hand or the left. Now, when he had left speaking these words, there came one of the Jews in the sight of all to sacrifice on the altar, which was at Moden, according to the king's commandment. Proud ass nigga coming forth, right? Which thing when Matthias saw, he was inflamed with zeal and his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear to show his anger according to judgment, wherefore he ran and slew him upon the altar. Also the king's commissioner who compelled men to sacrifice, he killed at that time and the altar he pulled down. Thus dealt he zealously for the law of the most high like as Phineas did unto Zambri, the son of Salam. So we should have that same zeal, you know? Now we ain't physically putting nobody to death like, like, like he actually did. We see a faggot, we want to, but that, that should be the extra disgust in, 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 as, as we did the live show last night in prayer for the immediate uh, uh, deliverance out of here, man, as soon as possible, speedily, swiftly, you know? You should have that same zeal in pushing this word out, right? You got some brother? You holding over there? You holding something? Oh, the oh. Yeah, the um, bring out that first Corinthians. It's uh, first Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Holy, for for as much as he know that your labor is not in vain. Mm -hmm. Read that again. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of your hour, for as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the world. Right. So it says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, right? Unmovable. Back to uh, when Yahweh Shah said, I will liken him, uh, he that doeth, uh, uh, that heareth my words and doeth them, I will liken him unto uh, a man that built his house upon a rock. That's unmovable. That's, that, that's firm. Right? Which goes back to the word integrity. You know, having integrity, standing firm. You know, as, as, as Jake liked to say in the street, I, I stand on what, what I'm saying. You know? It says unmovable always abounding that word abounding in the greek is 4052 which means to exceed a fixed number of measure right to be left over and above a certain number or measure to be over so always abounding in this work you know so let's 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 go above the set measure right let's strive to do more and more each day Go back to that uh, Ezekiel, brother. It's not Salakia. Can somebody get Hebrews 6? Uh, I think it's verse 10. Because it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. You know? So you must be convinced and know that this is what we're doing. We're going to get a reward for this. Yeah, kind of uh, Hebrew six and ten. For your house is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed show, show, show it towards his name, and that ye have ministered of the saints and do minister. And do minister, you know, so you continue to minister. Because you know the most high is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love that you put in it. You know? Which goes back to number uh, uh what's that numbers the twenty third chapter? The Most High is not a man that he shall lie. You know, Isaiah the 55th chapter says that his word shall not come back void, that it, is, it shall accomplish all that he uh, uh, that he pleases to do, man. You say what, brother? Speak up. Um, the same in Malachi 3 and 6, he changed nine. That's right. That's right. right uh, I want... Uh, oh. yes, the second Timothy 4 and 9, 5. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, 
make four proof of that marriage. All right, so we got to do the work of the evangelists, man. And we didn't really count anybody from the New Testament as an evangelist, like Paul, Peter, James, John. Uh, John. All right, and what did they do, man? They taught him and did this work, man. That was their life. They was dedicated to it. So we got, right, that's right, that's right, brother. So we got to do the same thing, man. All right, and now, so really, in the two videos a day, I mean, it's like two videos a week. That should really be no problem, man. Considering Acts 17, it, really, it literally says Paul just been a daily, man. <laughs> Imagine after that, you're going to deal with niggas daily, daily man. It's, it's at this beauty. All right? That's torture, man. That's like going on the line every day. Right. That's you know? the torture. You know? I mean, not really, but I mean, talk about how these niggas are actually dealing with niggas. Okay? So this should be, this is our joy. Okay? In fact, let me get the Psalms 51 and uh, 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted to thee. So once we get the joy of salvation, we come back into the fold, come back into the secret place of God by Shemel Shai, by knowing the, the holy name of the Father and the Son. Okay? It says what? Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted to thee. Man, then we're going to do the work, man. We're going to build brothers up, convert brothers, build ourselves up, like the brother mentioned, in the water, water himself. That's our whole job. You get that uh, by edifying yourself. Huh. All right, and it said, with thy free spirit. Now, what King David, King David also said, uh, his cup ran it over, okay, that the spirit of uh, the billows was running over. I'm talking about the spirit of the Lord. But the Lord is pumping his spirit out there that much. What does that mean we need to do, man? Working. All right, don't take the gift from that for granted. Huh? That, that, that. Now, this is Ephesians 4 and 16. It says, from whom the whole body... Let me see. Um, I'm going to start up at... Man. I'm going to start up at um, Ephesians 4 and 11. It says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and, and hey, teachers. Yeah, some evangelists. Yep. As a spirit. Evangelists is basically going forth to teach. God, bring your good titles. Yep. It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. It says that's what we're made for. Mm -hmm. read, read it again. What, what are we here for? It says for the perfecting of the saints. Okay, perfecting the build one another up. Right, which goes back to Sirach, where it says that uh, uh that I have not labored for myself only, God, but but for all those yeah, right but for all those that seek learning. If I can grab that real fast, this is Sirach, I believe is twenty four. Con, Sirach 24 and 34, it says, Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. In which he repeated it again in Sirach the 33rd chapter, which reads, um, uh, Sirach 33, 17, Consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. You know? And it goes back to the a hey, right back around to what the brother said. He that watereth watereth himself. So the more you teach, the more the more you watering yourself also. You know. Right. The spirit of the Lord is out here, man. There's so much out here. in two thirds are having visions and seeing the end, like he says in Joel and Acts. Man. How much more the spirit on this man? Okay. Uh, can you get much is given, much required? I know it's going there. The Ephesians. Yeah. I think it's a loop. Much is given, much required. Uh, the Spirit is pouring that much oil out on us, man. We need to be laboring, man, using that oil. King David said, My cup runneth over. That's right. And the Lord said, Chug your lunch. We got all this order. It's to last, man. So use it. Like that flame, man. Don't have that candle, you know? 
don't want to be that guy. You gotta speak up, brother. That wish you would have, could have, should have died. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I should have did this. I'm too late. Right. Hey, since you mentioned that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this real quick. Uh, back in Colossians 4 6. Let your speech be always with grace. Oh, no, is this it? Just stop. Oh. I didn't read it. Yeah, Second Timothy four five. But watch thou in all things and do afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So you can study and deal with, okay, break the real amongst each other. I right, just stay current. I am now in the sense to watch in all things. For I am now ready to be offered at the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. That's what you want to do, man. You want to really be able to stand boldly before the uh the, the throne of, of, of grace you know i kind of push my brothers to eat those stand boldly man kind of be able to approach kind of. Kind of. okay yep. like like you said he said you finished his course man he ran the race fought the good fight you want to be able to say that man so you need to labor right. show that charity right because if you ain't laboring this is what's gonna happen right luke 12 and 46 the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and then an hour when he is not aware. So how is he not looking for him and he unaware? Because he ain't watching. The brother just, just quoted the scripture and says, watch ye in all things. So we must stay on our watch, meaning continue, continually in our labor. It says, um, and will cut him as, in asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Because ultimately you don't believe if you're not doing the work. Because James, James, uh, uh, I believe is the uh, the second chapter, says that uh, show me uh, 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 how I go. Show show me uh, your show faith without, without works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You know, Abraham's uh, 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 faith was perfected through his works, man. As the scripture says. Did you say you had a scripture, brother? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I wanted to go with what you said about abounding. You know, abounding in this truth, you know, mm -hmm. growing. Um, yeah, it's uh, Mark chapter 11 and 12. And on the morrow, when they would come from Bethany, uh, he was hungry. Somebody out shot. And seeing a fig tree, a uh, fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came. If happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Yahweh answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. You know? And they, hey, that, that's what the Lord will do to you if you ain't bearing no fruit. Fruit. That's right. Uh, back in Luke 12, verse 47, it says, In that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, how are you preparing yourself? Uh, second Andrews, the ninth chapter says that um, those will be saved that will be saved by faith and by works. It's second Andrews 9. I get straight to the point. Second Andrews 9 and 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Right? So he didn't prepare himself, neither did according to, to his will, which goes back to the um the dude that was in the wedding without the without a wedding garment, right? It says, shall be beaten with many stripes, right? But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. Much required, man. So the Lord is, is the, if the Lord is pouring the Spirit out, man, and as a flood, or the billows of the past us, man, then we need to be laboring, man. I got a piece of <laughs> finish, finish this up right here. Brock, I thought, brother. But, uh, like, it says uh, your, your belly shall flow uh, 
rivers of living water. Man. That's right. All right. And so let it pour out, man. I mean, you're doing the work. All right. It says, and to whom men have committed much of, of him, they will ask the more. And you, you committed much with, with this truth, man. With this knowledge that you know. So go out and teach it. As, as we did the, uh, the sit down yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, let your light shine before men, man. Don't put it under a bushel. Scripture says, better is a man that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. No, no, no. Go ahead, right, bro. Okay, uh, this is First Corinthians chapter 1 and 21. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh, to please Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Hey, the foolishness of preaching, that's how we're going to get saved, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and it's a foolish thing because yeah, how about you? I said I can raise profits from these rocks, man. You don't need us to do this. It's foolish because it's foolish to them. It is foolish to the most high. He just called it foolish. Yeah. But the thing is, it says to them that believe. Yeah. Right? That believe, yeah. Because a lot of a lot of Jakes don't want to be seen out there on the line. Because they're they they look they think that they look foolish. And you gotta and believe they to go out the there. gospel. You gotta believe to be in this. You gotta believe that the reward is coming. You gotta believe to be because in, in Hebrews the tenth chapter. I believe it's the same chapter. I'm not sure. But uh, the scripture says that uh, look to the author and finisher of our faith, which is talking about Yahweh Shai, and it said he despised the shame. So so you got to, uh, and then when you go into that word, it's basically like to think little of or think nothing of. So he didn't care about looking foolish. He didn't care about the shame. He despised it. He looked down on it. He thought little of it. You know, because we know the glory that's coming. That's ahead of us. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Rathazai, if we continue, uh, you hold something? No, the picture did that. No, you can jump back to that Ezekiel 3 because that's where we was at. Uh, all right, I'm going to continue verse 19. Yet, Ezekiel 3 and 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Mm -hmm. Again, when so 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 you that's you doing the work. Did we ever get that James the fifth chapter? I have it. So you doing the work, man. Read that again, brother. Verse nineteen, Bible for sure. Uh, convert it to center. Okay. Uh, verse nineteen. Yet if, if thou warn the wicked, and he not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Right. So you go out there and warn the people. If he continue in his bullshit, well, he's going to die. But you delivered your soul because you warned him. You know? You got, you got that, James, bro? James 5 and 20. James 5 and 20. I got Let him know, let him know that he which converted... The sinner from the error of his way yep. shall save his soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Yep. All right, so you do you <laughs> on this label, man. You actually cover your own ass, really, man. Ultimately, if you're part of the elect. Yeah. Hey, did, did not Paul said uh, necessity is laid upon me? Right. I think I'm just going to say, so we say, I do this thing. We do a willingly. Right. I'm just a spirit, man. Yep. <laughs> Oh no, that was it on that. I got one real quick. Uh, this is Romans. Uh, this is Romans. Start up on that Romans 10. Go up. Yeah, because I, I know I seen you typing in without a preacher, and I knew that you wanted Romans 10. That's why I leaned over there and said it. Oh, okay. Start at um, 14, brother. Yeah, that's what I was going You can start at 13. Yeah. Uh, Romans 10 and 13. But whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh shall be saved. Right, whosoever among the Israelites, right? You can get uh what's that the Acts the second chapter to prove that and Joel the uh the second chapter to prove that. Go ahead, bro. How then shall they call on him whom they have not heard, who they who they have not believed? And how shall they believe in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right. 
So the brothers that need to get woken up, man, how they gonna hear if you ain't out there preaching it? How they gonna believe in the word if you ain't out there teaching the word, man? Yeah, bro. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Right. Which goes back to the apostles sent away, man. The apostles were sent out uh, by Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, and uh, and and I look at the fruit of their work, man. All us brothers, right? And then we in turn do the same thing that the love of uh, the apostles showed unto us. We should show unto the the uh, the, the brothers that's uh, coming in as well, man. Paul said that uh, everything you've seen and heard of I'm butchering the scripture, but Paul said everything you've seen of me and heard of me and seen me do that ye do, man. You know, he said, as you has us, the apostles, for an example. So we have perfect examples in our apostles, man. You know, the brother sent me a message, said Apostle Gobar uh, live right now, you know. And I'm like, damn, well, I want to be watching Apostle Gobar, but shit, it's the spirit on us to teach, you know. So quench not the spirit, as the scripture says. You, you, you told them? I said that a little bit more. Oh, okay, go ahead, bro. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Right, glad tidings of good things, man. What goes back to the word evangelist? The word evangelist uh, 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 pretty much means a uh, street preacher, man. Pretty what, much what it means. Uh, I, this first Corinthians 9, verse 16, it says, Though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, mm -hmm. for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is me, it's like, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For yeah. if I do this thing willingly, it's like, it's like, yeah, hey, damned if you don't, damned if you don't. Let <laughs> me say, damned if you do, damned if you don't. No, you just damned if you don't. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed to me. All right? So we got to preach the gospel anyway. But this should still be your joy, man. You should be willingly doing this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Like the angels, man. Like they can't go against the word of the Lord. But they do his will joyfully, man. That's right. Like when an angel was sent to kill the, the Israelites, mm -hmm. and the angel of the devil just kill it, and the uh, Lord came and stopped his ass, man. Uh, so we should be doing this thing willingly, man. Yep. This it, should be a joy. It's actual scripture in Psalms where it says that uh, they, they, they rejoice to do the will of the Most High. You know, yeah. something oh, to that yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah. Spirits, yeah. Uh, they should rejoice when, uh, when the tip the time to eat. Uh, spirit create prevention. No, yeah, that's, that's a rock. True. That one too. Uh, yeah, hey, because we our spirits are creating vengeance as well. We crying vengeance, man. We crying vengeance, man. We going out there, man. And as Christian said, the righteous blood cries on the meat. You know? Let's some more this Um What is my reward then? Barely that when I preach the gospel, so part of the reward itself is going to work. I may make the gospel of my shiach without charge, but I abuse not my power in the gospel. So if I reward it, it's actually going to work, man. And making it without charge. <laughs> you know? God. It's not selling somebody a starter kit. Doing it the right camp. way. Being the true prophets of the Lord in this filthy ass kingdom, man. Yep. That's the reward. Yeah. But I mean, I was a kid, man. I was uh, in junior high. I was talking to the teacher in class. I said, well, what are the prophets at now? He said, if they had the prophets around, they all they all consider crazy, probably like the crazy home. I said, I want to be a prophet, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Sure. That, that's an honorable thing, to be, to be the oracle of the Lord, man. That's the reward shit. Mm -hmm. So do the work, man. <laughs> If you're going to be immersed in it, man, if you're really going to be baptized in the Holy Ghost, that means you, you actually use it, man. You teach it, man. The floor, your belly's falling out of living waters. Yep. Like the apostles do, man. Apostle Hart got a video coming out. A little, it's every few hours, man. Man. All time to the day and night, man. Fire, man. And then Same go. Same with the, uh, Apostle Gabar. Yep. Uh, Apostle Ramla. Yep. Apostle, uh, Apostle, Apostle Kyle, Kyle all over the country. <laughs> hey, he gonna be those in the new state every couple hours. Right. <laughs> you know? Uh, 
Um, it goes back to the example that uh, uh, Paul said as he has us, the apostles, for an example. And, and our today's apostles are, hey, we see them, man. And they're a perfect example, man. You know, see, seeing how hard they go makes you want to go harder. As long as they've been in it. These these men, you know, been, been in the truth 20, 25, 30 years, man. And they excited. You see them, you know what I'm saying? These, these men, hey, that shit, if that don't encourage you to go harder, what, what will, man, you know? Though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself serve unto all, that I might gain the more. All right, man. So, do service to, to brotherhood, man, really. Service to the elect. Yep. All right, we got to do this work, man. Bottom line. Huh. And, then, and that would make me remember that we got to go back to Ephesians. I got one, uh, Philippians 1 and 14. Go ahead, bro. Well, I'll read this in uh, Ephesians so since I'm here. Back in Ephesians 4, I'm going to read 12 again. It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. So we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Heavenly Father unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him in all things which is the head, even Yahweh Shah, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth right so every joint must supply right according to the effectual working in the measure of every part effectual working in measurement we got to labor man. we're oh. the body man we want to keep the body moving and going man yep okay. La labor according to lock it brother no labor according to your measure that's right as the scripture says uh, uh there's different measures of faith man hey well, what's funny is I just got a, well, I got a notification from on YouTube, a brother put a video titled, Utilize Your Talents in His Truth, man. That's the spirit, man. Yeah, yeah. Use the talents, man. Let's get, let's get that pair. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling up. I'm, I'm going to finish this up. Yeah, it says, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body, right? So you got to, every part working, increase in the body. Increase in the body, man. So I can gain the more, like Paul said. Yep. Unto the edifying of itself in love. So the, the body edifies itself, man. He that watereth, watereth himself. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Philippians uh, 1 and 14. That's what you said about, uh, you know, brothers charging each other up. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. making each other more fervent. Provoking the good works. Yeah. Uh, Philippians 1 and 14. And and many of the brethren in Yahweh waxed confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. You know? <clears throat> hey, this is like, you know what I'm saying, you know, like a, a general in the army, man, or, you know what I'm saying, or a captain or something. You know, that's why the scriptures say, man, if you uh if you got fear and stuff, with uh they talk about the guy, you know, that's scared, you know, you got a field that you have in uh oh yeah, the law. Right. Like you're scared to go home but you but you newly married and you yeah. got your kids uh, go yep, home. Yep. Right, right. Because yeah. you know, because that one scared, scared ass dude can make everybody, you know what I'm saying, you know. Well, that's why you gotta be fervent in the spirit so you can build other brothers up in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? You know, like damn, man, you know, they because people see that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They they see that, you know what I'm saying? If you fervent in the spirit, that turned brother up, man. Right. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like he says in first Timothy four. Yep. He says to the young man, bless everybody. Then at the second man, give myself holy to these things. Which right. goes back to the example that our apostles been setting, man. Right. Let's follow the example. 
That's why that word doesn't come along as much. Elders are working, good works, good works follow. Man, that's good right. Works follow, man. Yep. They labor. They manifest, man. Yep. Okay, bro. All right, this is uh, going back to the brothers. You know, the brothers talking about how we need to deal with each other up. You know what I'm saying? Cause some some brothers that's going to be lacking, but that's the whole whole, uh, whole thing about the church. The church helps another brother in what lacking to build him up in another area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's uh first Corinthians chapter 14, verse 12. Even so ye for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. So we gotta that's that iron sharpening iron. We gotta build yeah. each other up. Well, it's like if one day helping so y'all, you know what I'm saying, so y'all can be on the same board. Right? Yeah, that's right. So we could be on one mind. Hey man, because you know that was one thing that people a lot a lot of people miss like you know hey man fuck the new end the new independence day movie all right but one thing about those aliens on independence day they all had one mind you know what i'm saying they was all linked into like one mindset you know so that's one thing the elites got right you know they was all connected to their master <laughs> i mean hey don't the scripture says we have the mind of y'all were shy that's right we should Yahweh Shah bounded in the work. Then Yahweh Shah said when they came to get him, uh, then Yahweh Shah said, well, shit, I was daily in the temple's teaching. You come up to me with swords? Like, what the fuck? Right? And there was even this one movie, I don't know if it was called Children of the Corn or something like that. It was about those little kids. They were like had alien brains or something. Had that white hair, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, Children of the Corn. <laughs> and, um... They had one mind in that shit. Like they were all basically one consciousness. You know, they always make the aliens like that because they know who the the, the the angels who's supposed to be the so-called aliens, right? They have one mind. The will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, as we should. You know, we all link together. You got the talent, bro. Yeah, I got. I got one. This Hebrews three and thirteen, but exhort one another daily. For it is called today, mm. lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Yep. All right, so exhort each other daily, man. Well, I mean, it's like, yeah, I said, right, exhort one another daily. What is called today, man. So we should be dealing with each other throughout our days, man. Now, of course, in balance, or sometimes with a phone call, we should be linking up a lot more often, you know, doing videos, regular sit downs, live streams, breaking bread amongst each other, just having camaraderie. All right, but still being spiritual, okay? Uh, Keep things in balance. Doing the work, watering yourself, watering the brothers. All right, Pick, uh, building one another's weaknesses up into strips. Okay, sharpening that iron. Going to the perfection, uh, perfecting of the body, man. All right, we we make we make up the body of the outside. So we got. Man, we got a lot of wisdom to, to, to pump in, in, inside of us, and righteousness to pump inside of us. Okay? And doing works and labors. Uh, you got to put this up, brother? One. All right. This is Rock, chapter 24, verse 34. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. So, you know, as you constantly growing, even for, even, even for the, the apostles, they constantly learn. You know what I'm saying? That's another way to sharpen the sword, you know, to help you get better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you might go off of something old that you never uh, realized that you uh, already went past, you know? And wow. then uh, have like a new level, uh, I mean, not a new level, uh, 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 what you call it, two deep, one deep. Uh, a layer. Yeah, a layer. You know, understand another layer. All right, man. You know, shit. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Hey, right. right. When you grow in this faith, you go and you share that growth and knowledge to partake of experience down to the young, to the young ones, man. That's right. That's why we go to the elders. It says, go to the elders, a family shall learn. They know something about How does, yeah, yeah, it's a surround. Yeah. All right, and that's. That's the talent. That's part of the talents too. Man. You get the talent and you, and you grow it by doing what you're using it, man. By taking it up to others, man. 
I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it just like you did. It's Matthew 25, 15. Uh, actually, uh, Matthew 25, 13. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour or when the Son of Man come. Right? For the king, so fear alone should make you do work. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered to them to his goods. And that's what Yahweh Shai did. He gave us his goods, man. He gave us his possession. That's a great thing that he entrusted us with, man. Mm. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. Yep. To every man appointed his several, several ability. See? So straight away took his journey. Uh, every man according to his several ability which every every measure that you have because um paul wrote and spoke about the uh, uh different measures of faith that brothers have so the different measures of faith it's going to be um um the different uh abilities right this is romans 12 and 3 it says for i say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, meaning in, in the sound and in, in, in right mind, man. Knowing that you ain't shit, knowing that, hey, the things that you know, you ought to know it, as the scripture says. It says, uh, given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith, you know? As it goes back to Psalms, when uh, King David says, uh, uh, I have goodly lines, you know? Right, 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 you know? Which, um, the different uh, uh, measures, different lines that brothers got, you know? All right, uh, back in Matthew 25 and 15, and it's a one. He gave five talents to another two and to another one to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents when he traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gave the other two. He that had received one went and dig in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants coming and reckoned with them and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents saying lord thou delivered to me five talents and oh i have gained beside them five times more his lord said to him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of of thy of thy lord mm. all right faithful in a few things man it said the, it was the Lord's good and the goods that they, they was entrusted with that. So that's what they have for like precious things, man. Things more precious than diamonds, rubies, especially diamonds, isn't it? The rubies, gold, precious gem. And then just, that should not be comparable to this you know, man. Hmm. Honestly, man. It says that's that. truly priceless. That's why I changed it up, because it said it. it's not comparable, man. All right. So we got to do the work with the talents, man. And of course, they were dealing with each other with the talents, trading and gaining, mm -hmm. because they the ones with the talents. Of course, they come to each other to, to, to gain more. Yep. Most, most of the bills was there. And they're increasing that amongst the people dealing with, you know, doing the work, man. Because everybody had their own several ability, like the scripture says. You know, huh. Jeremiah had a, a big portion, Isaiah, you know, but shit, oh. Obadiah had one book, but that's that that's heavy. You know man. what I'm saying? It's like how each, each part matters. You know, it's like how we talk about the guy with a little, uh, little little gun, right? Oh, hey, you right on oh, Harlem yeah, Nights. But it's on point. That but you but you did in your forehead. Yeah, be precise, man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, verse twenty one. His Lord said to him, "Well done, thou good and faithful servant." Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee rule over many things, and to die into the joy of that Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou delivered to me two talents. Lo, I have gained two other talents beside me. <coughs> oh. 
His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee rule over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, man. That's what we're here, man. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord, man. Uh, Come up hither. Man, bro. Thou good and faithful servant. Man, man. Yeah. But seeing the crown from the house was shy. Okay? Hmm. Then he which had received the one time that came and said, Lord, I knew thee, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping what thou hast not sown, and gathering what thou hast not strong. And I was afraid to hear thy tongue in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Right, that's really what a lot of people think is on me. Y'all really scared to go out there. Y'all scared of confrontation. Y'all mm -hmm. afraid, y'all don't have enough faith that y'all really got the, the truth out of it. Y'all scared to get stuff. Stumped on the streets, man. And right. the process kind of glad to get their ass to it from the world. It was happy, but I'm talking about getting stumped as in they they uh, getting uh, trapped in the confounded. Oh, yeah, they, they too weak in adoption. That's too get confounded when when the scripture says it, uh, uh, make thy forehead hard against theirs, exactly. lest I confound thee before them. Exactly. So if you go out there fearful and shit. I mean, because it's, it's written. <laughs> they that trip and they're going out there in the clip. No. Nope. They ain't got that whole armor, man. All right. Hey, if you're not following the true doctrine, ask GMS, you know, because this part is like GTA, they're not GMS. They're affiliated. So if you're not following the true doctrine, ask GMS, man, you're going out there in the clip. And that's why they don't go out there any fucking way like that. All right. Or they, or they, 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 they end up being become. Like the one guy, Isaac McCain, when he had that interview, the brother made the video on these somebody talking about Black Lives Matter. This is Black Lives Matter, he said. He made a fool, but he had to send a bunch of those some shit, man. <laughs> he can ask the, he can ask the question about the guy saying, uh, what about a bag and say uh, God made him like that? He's like, Well, God right, right, bags. right, yeah. Why, I've seen that. Why would God make bag? He's just saying that shit. So he didn't understand, man. The Lord creates uh good and bad, man. Mm -hmm. It's that simple, but they, but they ain't got that full doctrine, all right? They, they had so that's why they don't go out there. They had that talent. They scared, man. Uh, his Lord answered and said to him, "Thou wicked and slothful servant, that but also to you brothers that's even in GMS, man, you're not doing the work, man. You got to be counted as, as this wicked servant. Yep. Yep. You're not, you're not doing the labors. Hey, because put it like this, man. We hey, when we go out there on Saturday, that's war time." We go out there to war, yeah. you know. And if you not <laughs> see it, uh, uh, what happened to a, a boxer if he ain't trained for that fight? Or what about a, a basketball player, a football player, somebody that's playing for sports, or an athlete, or a warrior who don't train to be a warrior? Hey, magnify whatever offers you got, man. Take whatever talent you got, man. And do with it, man. So, if you, so if you ain't practicing on on uh, say you camp Saturday like we do, well, shit, from Sunday to Friday, what you doing? You know, because this is this is an everyday thing. This is this is this is life. <laughs> you know, this is life. So you should be engulfed in this truth. You should be engulfed, as okay, the scripture says, the, 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 the billows go over my head, as King David said. Hey. The deep call it to the deep, man. Two thirds they don't take a day off of being a, a nigga. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and they even had a song as an everyday thing to let you know that's saying. It's probably about some nigga, you know, with a bunch of fucking long hair, tattoos, and with his fucking pants hanging and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even heard this. This is a few months. I'm going to free you up. His Lord answered and said to him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap my soul not, and gathered why I have not straw. Thou authors, therefore, to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto which had ten talents. But to every one that have, unto every one that had, shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not, shall be taken away even that which he had. Mm. All right, so him that had that shall have abundance, man. So you are doing this work, and you, hey, look, if you dealing in the spirit, man. The spirit is gonna turn up and, 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 and part even more upon you, so you can build even more. So doing two sit downs a week, breaking bread with the brothers, linking up, 
and that's going to be nothing left because if you're uh, making it by your office, man, if you're using your talent, he you said the Lord's going to increase that, man. You're going to have All right? The Spirit's going to keep you on charge and giving you more for it, man. Looking for that song? No, I got, I got the song. Um, it's a little more slight. Uh, and cast even the profitable servant into out of darkness, that should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Alright, that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, Alright, right, um, this, uh, Sirach 24, this Sirach 24 and 24, they not to be strong in the most high. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't, if you, I mean, because eventually if you get weak and you continue weak, you want to stay fast in that area, then more than likely you're going to become that weak yourself. He says uh, that he may confirm you, cleave onto him, for the Lord Almighty is uh, our alone, and beside him there is no other savior. So, if you want to constantly continue to work, the reward out of this is to get saved, man. If you want to be a wicked servant, you saying you want to be king. This is Psalms 119 and, and, uh, and 100. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. Hey, and, uh, and the ancients, man, hey, man, hey, there's a lot of people in, in, in our nation, so to speak, I'm mean, just as what you can say is a hoary head should be uh in honor uh as, as long as it's found in um in the way of righteousness in the way of righteousness but you got some you know they got a saying ain't no fool like an old fool man. there's a lot of old bottles out here man right i understand more <laughs> than the angels because i keep that precepts right we keep those precepts in our pocket man like the story you heard when you was a little kid, like about Johnny Appleseed, how he kept the, I don't, you know, I don't know how true that was, you know, but they kept he kept like a pocket full of seeds and shit. He'd go everywhere and plant some damn apple seeds for you know. You know the little story about Johnny Appleseed. Well, that's how we keep it in our pockets, man. Like like that, like Johnny Appleseed. We keep these precepts, man. We keep these cuts in our pockets. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's a little bit more. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, and that's the wrong. With the, that, and that's why we sign cry, man, because this world don't know nothing about judgment. They don't have no judgment. They don't even know what the barometer to judge anything is. What? They don't think my mama, my mama said. Yeah, my mama said. <laughs> uh, no, Colonel Sanders. You're wrong. You're wrong. You know, something's wrong with that Medulla of God. You know? But thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Do thy precepts I get understanding. Right. So, hey, so we, so it's our job to take those talents, to take those precepts, those seeds, and plant them. Right. What's the best way to deal and get uh, understanding with the precepts, man? It's dealing, man. It's hey, again, hey, this, that script is hot, man. If we're in the water, go out yourself. If you're in the spirit and dealing with people or in the sit downs and live streams, man, we get more understanding of things, man, because the Lord is pouring out on you, man. Especially when you're with another occupant, another occupant, or with the occupant, right? Because it says the two more gathered, there you get some presence, okay? Well, the spirit is dealing, man. Therefore, I hate every false. <coughs> Read that again. Therefore, I hate every false way. So, hey, man, we hate every false way, man. Hey, man, that's why we can't rock with you, uh, you know, motherfuckers like HODC trying to say uh, Barack Obama's the goddamn Antichrist and shit. Got that damn poster and shit. <laughs> hey man, y'all some old farts, man. Y'all don't know nothing about the scriptures, man. Thought <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Barack Obama will become the Antichrist. 
he throws the damn uh board on the ground like he's doing the damn ten commandments like Charles and Essence and shit. You know? Can somebody get uh Ezekiel forty seven and one? Can somebody get uh Sirach twenty four and um start at um twenty two. Sirach twenty four and twenty two. Sirach twenty four and twenty two. Uh, uh, yeah. sure. All right now. You got the Z Cap 47? What you got? Uh, Alright, what I get another one on Z Cap 47. Okay, I get this. Z 47 and one person. You gonna start at the top? Alright, Z Cap 47 and one. After he brought me a gear to the door of that of the house. And behold, waters issue out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down under the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. Right, which goes back to Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, the second verse. My doctrine shall drop his rain. Right. Yahweh Shah said that um, he that believeth on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. There's plenty of scriptures where it relates to uh, the, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding that's being water. As we quoted earlier, King David said, the billows go over me. Yeah. Right? So so this is water. This is knowledge that's, that, that Ezekiel was seeing in the vision. Go ahead, brother. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way without unto the other gate by the way that looked eastward. And behold, there ran now waters on the right side. Uh huh. On the righteous the, side, right? On the right side. This righteous knowledge we're getting. Go ahead, bro. And when the man that had the light in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. Right. So the waters to his, to the ankles, right? So the go ahead, brother. Again, he measured a thousand, and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. So the so the more he dealing, the more the water coming up, right? Go ahead, bro. Uh, again, he measured a thousand, and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. <laughs> Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen. Waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. You're right. So, 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 uh, how can you not put due to, to a week? With all this knowledge that's engulfing you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a river you can't pass through. It's rushing. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. And when he first came in, it's just like we are. The, the knowledge was to the knee, uh, to the ankles. You coming in, but the more you abound, the more you do the work, the more he, I was looking for the scripture. He that water it, water it himself. You know. Yeah. yeah. Can a brother grab this? Uh, it, it's more in there, bro. Uh, uh, and he said unto me, "Son of man, behold, the man has thou seen this?" Then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river, were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then said unto me, These waters that you out toward the east country, and go down to the desert, and go into the sea which brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth was moving, whithersoever the river shall come shall live, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, but they shall be healed, and everything shall live for the river of heaven. Mm. Uh, 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 there you go to Sirach, bro. 24 and uh, 22, bro, sure. Uh, Sirach 24, chapter 24, verse 22. It says, He that obeyeth me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. Keep going. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High, mm -hmm. the power, even the law which Moses commanded for an inheritance, inheritance unto the congregation of Jacob. Right. Let Thank you know it's only for Israel. It's only for Jake. Go ahead, the brother. Uh, verse twenty-four. Pray not, pray not to be, to be strong in the Most High, that He may confirm you, even unto Him, for the Most High Almighty is power alone. And beside him, there is no other Savior. Mm -hmm. Keep going. He filleth all things with his wisdom. With his wisdom, his knowledge. Go ahead. 
es Faisal él es Tigris 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 in the set in the time of the new fruits mm -hmm. he make it the understanding to abound like your Ephraim 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 and the, and as Jordan in the time of the of the harvest he make it the doctrine of knowledge appear in the light and and as Gian in the time of vintage right you know because I'm sitting here um giving examples of the water abounding go ahead the first man knew not wait it's like the first man knew her not perfectly no man no more shall the last find her out for her thoughts are more than the sea and her counsels prof profound profounder than the great deep right you know the the, the ever flowing of wisdom man go ahead I also came out as I also came out as a book from a river and as a conduit conduit into a garden. Mm -hmm. Conduit is a, a waterway like a river. I said I will I will water my best garden and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo my book became a river. My river became a sea. So his brook became a river, then his river became a sea. Abounding in his work. Go ahead, bro. I will yet make doctrines to shine as the morning, and will send forth her light after a sun, and will send forth send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy. I will pour out doctrine as prophecy. So we are to be abounding in his work, prophesying, right? Go ahead, brother. And leave it to all ages forever. Behold, I have not labored for myself only, but for all them they seek wisdom. Right. And which goes back, we should have named it, He that watereth, watereth himself. <laughs> That's what the name of this going to be, man. Go ahead, brother. You got scripture. Uh, basically, the scripture is water. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 25. It says, The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that water shall be watered also in himself. All right, read that again. Speak up a little bit. This is Proverbs 11 and 25. The liberal soul shall be made fat. Right, so James, the first chapter, says that uh, if any man lack wisdom, let him pray to the Most High who give it liberally, which means openly, right? So it said that saying, that um the liberal soul so the man that's constantly giving out that's constantly teaching shall be made back go ahead and he that water shall be shall be watered also himself right and he that watereth shall water also himself brothers got any closing precepts yeah, I got it. Oh, you got uh, this is uh revelations chapter 3 verse 20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, and he and he with me. So basically, you know what I'm saying? If you constantly doing this work, y'all shall go and deal with you. You will grow, man. You know? This is Rock 18, 28. Every man of understanding knows wisdom and will give praise to him that found her. And uh, the praise of sacrifice. Okay? So we do this work. Okay? They that were of understanding and sayings became also wise themselves. Are right, so be diligent, you become wise yourself to grow. Right, you become fruitful to yourself. Then it says, and pour forth the exquisite parables. And then you're going to do what? Teach this thing, man. Because what's the most exquisite parable in scriptures? Psalm 78. I see gonna be uh you're gonna be dealing in the scriptures, man. You're gonna be dedicated to the scriptures, man. Occupy in the scriptures, man. Okay. This is your business. Okay? And uh I got Sarat 39 and, and uh one. <clears throat> the heat that given his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in the prophecies. So you're dealing. 
He will keep the sayings of the renowned man. We're dealing with the wise man, okay? We didn't understand it. And where so the parables are, he will be there also. And the scriptures give the breakdowns. He will seek out the secrets of the great sentences and be conversant in dark parables, man. So that's dealing with the author, man. Dealing with the, the, the brothers, man. These live streams is a great way to be conversant. You know, really, even with the apostles. Yeah. You know, technically. Yeah. Man. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries where he have tried the good and the evil among men. He will give us heart to resort early to the hour like to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. With the great glory will he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. So once he's filled with the spirit of understanding, guess what? He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks to the Lord in his prayer. All right, so once the spirit understands the party, man, you got to pour out wise sentences, man. You got to deal, do the work, labor. Build one another up, man. Water and be watered. Okay? Uh, yeah, verse 7. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and his secret shall he meditate. He shall show forth that which he hath learned, and shall glory in the law of the covenant of the Lord. Okay, you're gonna show forth what you've learned, man. So you're not giving this knowledge to hold on to it, man. Tuck it away. Uh, I got a uh, Luke 19. I'm gonna start at verse 12. It says, and he he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. It says to occupy. The Greek, 4231. Pragmatio. Pragmatio um a. It says to be occupied in anything. To carry on a business. Then Yahweh shall tell his own mother, woman, know ye not that I must be about my father's business, right? Yeah. To carry on a business, to carry on the business of a banker or a trader, to occupy, to work till I come. Verse 14, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, Having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man ga had gained by trading. The word uh, uh, trading in the Greek is 1281, which says, Thoroughly, earnestly to undertake a business, to undertake a business for sake of gain, right? To go out here and teach and to convert uh, 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 the one third, man. You know? Verse 16. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy ten, uh, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man, thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant, thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required my own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given. So which everyone that hath and continue to abound, you'll be given more and more, right? And from him that hath not, even that he hath, right? Even that you have. So if you don't have the abounding works, 
right? Even that you have shall be taken away from him. So Lord is going to get rid of your ass, man, as the brother read the parable with the fig tree. That's that's it, bro. Y'all brothers on something? Well, basically, I just wanted to say, like, you know, uh, all you all you guys who so all you Israelites that so good at hustling and stuff, hustle with these scriptures, man. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom and all things shall be added on them. That's so right. hustling in this word, man, so you can receive a bigger reward, man, than what you begin in this so called kingdom. So with that, man, you know, man, you brothers was edified, encouraged, uplifted, you know, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the elders of all Israel, and salutations to all you Akim around the world preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, and most importantly, with charity. Shalom, brothers. Shalom. 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 Shalom.